And I think it fits so. well like, with the next topic, which is um, the marketing. follow up on marketing. So yeah. we, we brought that topic a few times. We'll bring it again until we yeah. have all the articles out. And again. I think, yeah. Rob, you already wrote another article, but I don't think it's out yet. Is oh, it? it is. I posted it. I don't think we pushed it. It's it's definitely published. Um, That's right. So, there, so there's two yeah. articles right now. And the first one's kind of introductory. Goes over, I mean, I'll, I didn't know this a couple of years ago. I still think most people don't know this, but 98, 99% of what you see out there influencers, the airdrops, the the telegram channels, the signals channels, all that stuff. Yeah. People people are paying for that. People are paying to to get the their stuff into your eyeballs. Um right. and there's <clears throat> there's companies that uh, you hire, they have, you know, they provide all of these different services, uh, everything from website building, but more importantly, you know, directing your message into influencers who talk like, you know, they just found out this cool thing, but <laughs> you paid them. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people are balking at that Polkadot thing, which we didn't talk about in the news, but that's freaking hilarious. No, right? that's, that's um, because it's related right, to this, right. I think, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. So, right. So the marketing list from polka that got leaked i think they spent five million dollars and you can see the crypto influencer list that's on there and you can see all the the smarmy marketing angles that they paid for that people just assume is like the influencer talking honestly about polka dot or whatever correct that's that's what it is and that's what everything that you see all the influencers you you listen to and watch and so forth yes you're learning. Yes, they're providing you this with this stuff. Let's not pretend it's out of the goodness of their heart. It's this is all yeah. marketing. All of I it. Think, <laughs> I think, you know, and, and if we balance it out, there are extremes. There are the real smarmy ones, which I'm not gonna badmouth anyone, but you can just guess some of you know me, so you know yeah. there I, I don't I don't have a very big pool of influencers that I consider worthwhile ever listening to, but they are exciting they are entertaining um and different levels and then there's another side where they are trying to help but there is this illusion um that everything that's being talked about isn't paid for unless they disclose it right i do know of right. some influencers who who disclose 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 um some don't and some don't do everything which is worse not doing it or not doing everything. I throw it into the big box that says, you stink. You should disclose mm -hmm. everything yeah. if you're going to do it. And I think you guys can all see that list if you Google it, the polka dot, the dot list of marketing. I think it's in your article, is it not? Didn't you have the uh, yeah, um, no, a I, screenshot a list, of that a, in the article? I got a list so, of like 15 different, different things that can be done, each with different levels. So the first article outlines all that stuff the 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 following articles so I, I wrote one before the polka dot thing happened and that's that's published uh we haven't pushed it but it's, it's published uh that dives into the very first first bit of that list talks about what they are gives you examples and gives you some prices and so forth and talks about that and then i'm going to continue going down through the list i think we'll have another one out this week maybe two um and those are all the services that you can buy we can buy any you know and Get in, get our stuff out of the mouths of influencers. Get our stuff onto you know uh, net, uh, websites that talk about stuff. Get our stuff onto exchanges that uh, list stuff. Or uh, there's a whole bunch of different services yeah. that are all that's possible. Right. And yeah. we talked about that. That's that's why influencers do that. That's why uh, news websites do that. They don't do it because um, they love crypto. I mean, they probably started for that right but at sure. the end of the day they they have a work like for them it's a job yeah. right well the, so i think the course, misconception the, on youtube sorry to interrupt the, the misconception on youtube is there are a lot of youtube channels that are making money from youtube or from twitter right they're getting paid by 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 providing honest reviews right they get a lot of viewers and then they get paid by youtube but get paid you by the ad rate paid. by the ads so, by the ads, right. So exactly. if you're familiar a little bit with YouTube, you will see that it's not the model anymore, right? Like you have the ads and it's kind of a part of the revenue, but it's not so much. And I would assume that people in crypto are also, you know, greatly impacted by the demonetization and all yeah. that. Yeah, um, so that was, my, that was exactly my next point is like, yeah, 
uh, yeah, there are people who are making tons of money, like on on X and so forth. Uh, it's not very many. It's kind of like sports, like you know, one percent make it. <laughs> um, so there's a, there's a, there's a few. I'm sure Beast is making a ton of Mr. Beast is making yeah. tons of money. Yeah, right. I uh, from, should have like twenty dollars CPM or something like that. Yeah, right, right. So so from YouTube itself, I think he's got other in income streams, but uh, YouTube itself is paying him a ton of money. Uh, most of the crypto influencers, that's not true. And they're getting right. paid directly by companies to pay and look, them by projects. We're talking yeah. about Beast, right? I, w I was watching a video recently and he was saying that um, he was getting a certain part from the video, but he also needs to do the ad read in the middle mm -hmm. because otherwise he wouldn't be able to make the videos that he makes where he right. spent like so That's much true. money, right? right. And so yep. um, at the end of the day, it's, it's always what you get for what you spend, right? And mm -hmm. what are your goals? And I mean, those are um, in the market, they offer a service and that's, that's the way it is, right? We have, to, we have to play the game with the rules that yeah. the, games I, yeah. the games have. I just, I just want our listeners to understand that what they're seeing is, is like this kind of vapid screen of what is really happening. Like, right. you know, they're getting paid somehow and the way they're getting paid are these crypto projects that you know, want to get out in front of the other ones or paying them. And, I think, you know, th I th there's going to be a day where we a need way, to do that with Divi. I think that there's a way, well, look, I don't think that there's anything wrong with having marketing or any nope. advertising done nope. for Not saying Divi. anything is wrong with it. Yeah. I don't think, yeah. So I'm, yeah, I don't think any of us would say that it, it's about disclosure. I think in some ways when you're giving the appearance of being unbiased and you still may receive Look, I I am pretty confident on some hardware manufacturer, or excuse me, some hardware, we would call them influencers on YouTube, who will say, look, I was going to buy this. I'm giving my unbiased opinion, but they sent me one for free. And when you watch their video and they detail it and they hammer the tar out of it or they praise it, it's, it, it, you know, you can kind of get the feeling out of it. It is just mm -hmm. about the disclosure. Um I think using terms even like this is sponsored by, what's wrong mm -hmm. with that? I mean, an influencer Nothing. can say, hey, I'm sponsored by X. They yeah. make all of these things possible so I can talk about it. And yeah. then even say, hey, just because they sponsor me, you need to be a strong enough influencer. I guess maybe you got to be big enough to be able to say, if I don't like something they're doing, I will take it up with them. Sponsorships are, are just fine. I, I think believe that, it's that even be... required legally in um, in many areas. So yeah. Yeah. No, uh, again, sure. I encourage you to read those articles. They are, yep. I think, Rob, you did a great job. The first he one did, is yeah. uh, generic about like presenting the whole thing and then there will be a few, there will already be like um, the second one that is coming that is going into the shilling side, uh, Twitter retweets and, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, followers and all that. So it's a, it's a good aspect. And then there will be other ones. So I really encourage you to read those articles. And then after that, um, there will be another article which will summarize the whole strategy with the marketing, um, the website, exchange listing. And, um, and then we'll be able to have a vote for um, to see where where we want to go and what kind of strategy we want to we want to approach with all that.